Hi, young entrepreneurs. My name is Jess Loren, and we are live here in Chicago at the Fun Conference. It's the, it's the Midwest's largest deal conference, and I am lucky enough to be sitting here with Faison, and he is of a company called Busy, and he's going to tell you all about it, but he is part of our pitch competition here, and um, we have so many amazing speakers, so many startups. I think we have like a, over 100 startups that were uh, featured here at the Fun Conference, and Faison is one of them. So tell us about busy well at busy we're focused on making sure salespeople don't have to do data entry anymore well I'm sure they love hearing that <laughs> I'm sure they do I have a stack of business cards in my bag myself and I don't want to put those all into my tools I know that so at busy we're here to take that out and make sure that those cards get in the tools that they need to be so tell me about the process and you know what's gonna happen to that stack of cards that stack of cards from right now I'm going to take that stack of cards home. I'm going to put it on my desk, and then what's going to happen It's probably going to sit there. But at Busy, we're trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Rather than that stack of business cards ending up on my desk and gathering dust or maybe even the trash can, uh, we work to convert those leads immediately at the point of contact, making sure they're getting in the right tools that they need to, and then tracking analytics on all that as well. So tell me about that process. So basically, you snap a, it's very, very simple. You snap a picture of a business card. With a check of a box, you could upload it to your, your Salesforce, your CRM tool. You can connect on LinkedIn, throw them in the Gmail, all at the point of contact with one check of a box. So what about the people with these fancy business cards who like to do crazy things and put their name over here and their phone number over here? Does your software collect all that? Yes, yes, we do. So we, we are based off of uh, OCR technology. There's still some technical... Say that again, OCR, OCR technology. technology. Okay, so is that a fancy... I'm, I'm not familiar. No, it's it's pretty standard in the industry, um, but we're, we're taking a different approach at it. Um, it's still a little buggy right now. We're still working on all the kinks and stuff, but we're getting there, slowly but surely getting there. So I heard you're the ripe old age of 23. Tell me about how did you come up with the idea, and then how did you go about the process of you know creating, it's an app? Yeah, so yeah. creating the app and moving forward. Sure, so uh, I've been an entrepreneur most of my life. Uh, started my first quote unquote business at the age of 15, selling cell phones. Uh, back and forth, um, ripped apart my first computer when I was six. Uh, but the idea really came to fruition uh, when I met my co-founder, Jeff Owens. Um, his girlfriend actually recruited me for another job, but it was, it was sort of an awkward exchange, but it was, it was fun. Um, so Jeff came up with the idea. He used to, he used to, he's a product manager at a big startup. Um, and every time he'd sit on in one of these sales calls, he'd hear the SVP of sales yelling at the top of their lungs saying, get these leads in your CRM tool. Um, and that's how the idea came to be. You know, we don't want the SVB of sales to be yelling at the top of their lungs to tell you to get your sales. You don't want to get in trouble. So you don't want to get in trouble, so you created an app. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> your parents would be proud. Oh, I'm sure they would. I'm sure they would. Uh, but yeah, that, that's how the idea came to be. Jeff, you know, realized that this is a big problem. And, you know, uh, I got introduced to him through his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend. And you know, I really believed in it. I go through it every single day. I have a stack of business cards in my bag right now. Um, but yeah, that's that's how the idea came to be. So you, you created the idea, your co-founder created the idea, um, and what was your next step? So you want to create an app, where'd you go next? Ton of research, ton of research. We, we, we're we a sales-based app, so we, we're, we're feeding off the interactions of real lives individuals. So ton of networking events, ton of conferences, um, you know, really getting our idea out there to validate the market. Uh, before we even started building our MVP, we were already starting to gain some traction, start selling people on the idea before we even really built out the product. Um, and it's so, just, so you got uh, a lot of input prior to even finishing the product. Yep. Would you recommend that that would be a process other entrepreneurs take? Oh, or? definitely, okay. definitely, definitely. It, the key to any successful startup is validating the market. If the market's not validated, then there's no point. Unless, you, unless you're a rock star and can build something from the, you know, out of nowhere, which, I mean, entrepreneurs have to be. But definitely, I would recommend uh, uh, validating your idea before beforehand. Awesome. So you're here at Fund Conference. Um, what are you guys looking to do here at Fund? And um, are you are you in a seed round? Are you raising? What are you What are you guys doing? So we're here for angel money uh, first and foremost. We're also looking for strategic partners. Um, a lot of these big organizations have a lot of field sales reps that go out. So we're looking to gain some strategic partnerships like that. Maybe gain some customers. Uh, but definitely just for traction, uh, angel investing, definitely. We're, be, we're going to be pitching tomorrow at the UIC Pavilion as well. Um, we're one of the first five 
uh, venture Ooh. care companies. Yeah, so uh, definitely looking to, to gain some traction. We're, we're self-funded right now, so we're running out of money in the bank very quickly. So, How much money are you looking for if there's uh, an investor on the network looking to invest in something like this? Sure. So we're looking for $350,000 for 10% of our company. This is going to be help to build our products, scale our team, and then continue to push, mar- uh, push hard to a market that we've already validated. Is the, the app live right now? Yes, the app is live right now, but like I said, it's pretty glitchy. But yes, it's it's live right now in the Android and iOS store. And then we also have a web application that we built out that you can go on www.mybizzy.com, M-Y-B-I-Z-I.com. Awesome. So you're 23. Have there been any books that you have read that have really inspired you as an entrepreneur or kept you going maybe when you were down or maybe when things weren't going that well? You know, tell us about, maybe maybe it's not a book. Maybe it's you're inspired in another way. Tell us about that. So I'm not a big bookworm. I'm going to be completely honest. I watch a lot. I watch a lot of videos. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Oh, I'm a podcast junkie. What's your favorite? There's a bunch of them out there. There's a Y Combinator one that I really like. Listening. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah. Um, but I also like watching a lot of startup series, go to a lot of startup events as well. And then um, subscribe to Wall Street Journal. So, I mean, I that's read a smarty entre- pants one. Yeah. I read their entrepreneur section, their startup, their business section. Um, that's what really keeps me going from the day to day. I mean, if I was to recommend one book, it would be, you know, the lean, the lean startup. I mean, everybody in the industry knows that one and definitely helps out, but yeah, not a big bookworm, but I find my motivations other ways. So you mentioned the Y Combinator, Combinator, uh, podcast, any other podcasts you'd recommend if you're a big podcaster? Yeah. So there's one guy that, uh, reached out to us. His name is, uh, can't, can't recall his name off the top of my head, but he runs dailyspin.io. Um, they're, they're also sort of like product hunt. If you guys have ever heard of product hunt, but they also host their own podcast as well. So he has a lot of young entrepreneurs, a lot of serial entrepreneurs come in, give their insights. And then he, he basically breaks down their business for them. And, um, I listen to his all the time. Great, great, great resource. Daily spin.io. So thank you so much for being here at fun conference. Um, how can the viewers find you on social? Sure. So I'm on Instagram at fizzy tie, F I Z Z Y T A I. Um, I'm also on LinkedIn. You search up my name, search up my name, F A I Z A N T A I. Um, we also have a couple Facebook pages and stuff out there for busy, um, which have been included in the link. So, uh, you can find us on that. Great. So we are live here again at fun conference. Thank you so much for being here and good luck tomorrow. Um, my name is Jess Loren. I'm reporting live here both days at the fun conference. Uh, you can find me on social miss Jess Loren, M S J E S S L O R E N. Thank you so much. And we'll have more content soon.